Hello everyone and welcome back to City Life. I hope everyone's doing really well. I've unfortunately not had any internet and stuff, or just my personal hotspot, but that's about it. So it hasn't allowed me to upload or stream or anything, but it has a it has allowed me to get on the server and record and stuff. So um, Shannon's just finished work, you know, she just left the police station. She's coming home. Sarah, which is her sister, which you guys have met in a previous episode, um, is going to be meeting us here. I think Sarah's pretty much living here pretty much at the moment, so... She's gonna meet us here. We're gonna go and grab something to eat. Um, we're also gonna do a little bit of shopping, late night shopping, getting ready for Christmas and stuff down at the Rockford area and like the shopping area at Vangelico's and stuff like that. So we're just gonna wait here for Sarah. I'm pretty much just gonna wear this because Shannon's tired and you know, why not just wear what we're wearing? I mean, it looks perfectly fine. Um, we're off duty, but on duty, I guess, just in case. Um, so yeah, Shannon's just gonna grab a glass of water. We'll await for Sarah to get here. She's heading here from work. She's just finishing at the hospital. She just got out of her surgery. Um, yeah, so this should be a lot of fun. So I hope you guys in, you know, enjoy what's installed. I'm not really sure what could happen. Um, there was a message in the previous episode of, um, CLRP where, um, there was a note left by a guy called T and there was something mentioned about Tamale. So Tamale might be coming out of the woodworks, we don't know. Um, I mean, Shannon doesn't know, obviously I know, but, you know, Shannon doesn't. So, yeah, hopefully this will be a lot of fun, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Shannon. Oh, okay, yeah, no, no, that's all good. Yeah, I'll call you back. Yeah, it's all good. No worries. Hey, Sarah. Hello. Busy day? Yeah, I had to do a lot of charting today. Yeah, you didn't want to take your gloves off before you come home? Jeez. I put these on, like, right before I left, and it's just so instinctual. Like, I just put these on and left. Right, okay. Well, you're ready to go out. I'm starving. Uh, yeah, I just need a change. I'll be right back. Alright, no worries. I'll be here. Notice... There's way more Crown Vicks driving around these days. It's kind of funny. What do you mean, Crown? Like, you just saw a lot of Crown Vicks on the way home. Yeah, I think they're police. I don't even know, but there's a lot of them. Yeah, I would. There was a lot of Crown Vicks down at the station earlier. Um, I think people are wanting to use them a lot before they sort of go out of, you know, fashion. Oh, okay. All right, I'll just grab my keys and. Stuff, I guess. Are we taking your car? Yeah, are you, are you parked in the garage? Uh, no, I'm just parked on the side. Uh, I'll just take mine anyway. I got the keys right here. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so Sarah's home. We're just gonna wait for her to get changed, because obviously she doesn't really want to go... go shopping dress like that. So we might as well just have a bit of a look at the view. This would be an amazing view of those power lines. I mean it's an amazing view but it'd be even better without the power lines like right there. But it's still pretty pretty decent. You ready to go? Yep, let's go. So how was work overall today? Um, it was pretty good. I mean, I wasn't in the OR today. Oh, I thought you must have had a surgery. Um, no, just a lot of, um... We had a car accident come in last night, and I was checking over. That unfortunately, they, uh... They didn't make it, so I had to input that for data entry. Oh, that's terrible. I hope the family are okay. Yeah. How's your day? 
uh, pretty, well, better than yours, I guess. I pretty much just sat in the office. I had to catch up on a lot of paperwork that had happened over the week. Oh, okay. Had to sign a couple of transfers. Another office had to get a new partner. Oh, really? Had to fill out some stuff about a search warrant that was executed last week. Did you hear the gossip about what happened at the hospital? Uh, about a Dr. Vala or something like that? Yeah, our chief of surgery. All, I, all I'm aware of is I think he has a warrant out for his arrest. Yeah, well... Thank God I don't work for a psychopath anymore, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, well, as long as he stays away from the hospital, he should be okay, but... If he does come back to the hospital, call 911. Yeah, well, I'm applying for his position. Oh, are you? You didn't tell me that. Yeah, well, I haven't done it yet. I was just thinking about it, but I think I'm going to do it. Shit, I was meant to go up at the up and at him back there to get something to eat. Oh, yeah. Uh, we might... Go, are you starving or you want to get food later? Um, it's whatever you want to do. I'm good with both. Uh, do you know any food places down here? Um, not really. I don't go out much. Mm, I think there's like a coffee shop down here on the left. They might have some, you know, some pastry, like sausage rolls or something. See if they're open. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's the coffee shop there on the left. We just gotta find somewhere to park. Oh, yeah. I think it's about time for an epic bar crawl. Russia, everyone's trying to get home. Oh, wow. Okay. What? No, I just got on Twitter and there's like some crazy people on this app. Oh, uh, yeah, I try and stay off that crap. Yeah, good call. God, is this light ever gonna go green? And that guy nearly rear-ended us. Don't want to be doing a U-turn, but it will do like a three-point turn. Let's see if they've got anything, you know, decent to eat, I guess. Because I'm pretty hungry. Yeah, me too. So when do you have to submit an application for the job? Um, by the end of the week. Oh, okay. Well, they got a couple of, like, sandwiches with lettuce and chicken and stuff in them. That's about all they have. Hmm. And some water.
Oh, they have tea here. Oh, I'm gonna get a bubble tea. Okay. Mm. All right, I'll grab as a table. I've got my food. Oh. Please tell me I can sit on that, please. No, nope, that's jank. Can't sit at these ones properly. We'll just stand. We'll just stand and eat. We'll eat another one of them. Two waters. Mm, this is really good. Yeah, this sandwich is really good too. I like it. Their, their chairs are a little, like, damp and stuff. I wouldn't sit down. Mm, oh, I know what you mean. So what a beautiful evening. I mean, it's what a little windy. It is. It's very nice. Just look at that beautiful sunset. I think we could almost, like, leave the car here and just walk down to the shopping centre. I uh, yeah, if you want, totally. Yeah, I believe the shops are open for another couple of hours, so we, we can stay here for like 10 minutes or so and just, you know, enjoy. Yeah, I agree. Mm. Alright, I guess we can start heading... To the shops, yeah. I think E-Walk 11 is what I like to use for Shannon. It'll slow her walk down a little bit as well. The only thing I don't like is it makes her arms fling a little bit, but mm, it is what it is. Oh, I I need to get my purse. I just used the cash that I had on me to get that food. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I just thought while we have this car park here, we might as well leave the car here. It saves having to drive around a bit more. Yeah, parking at the, like, the shops is not fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, where, which shop do you want to go to first? Because I, I, I don't come down here very often, because I'm normally very busy, and if I do, I just rush down here. I never, like, take my time to look at the decent things in life, you know? We could just walk to like make our way to like where the diamond store is, Vangelical. There's like stores around there that I remember. Oh yes, actually I do want to go there. Do you, what's in this like area here? Like there's this massive like walkway into the middle there? Uh, can I make uh, isn't this a police station? Oh, I know there's a police station down what's a little bit further, like to the left. I know there's a fire station there I'm as well, sure I think. What this is. What's wrong? Go check it out. Yeah, let's go. Oh my god, it's so busy down here. Oh, so rude. Yeah, it's so busy. I thought coming down here later would have been like a bit quieter. Uh, would it be easy to cross where you are, or...? Yeah, probably go across here, maybe. Uh, oh, yeah. Sarah, look at this! Oh, they're probably... They're probably not interested in females, actually. Don't worry. Um... Yeah. Let's go they probably... Oh, yeah, they probably prefer the men, I think. Oh. I mean, I'm not assuming. Oh my goodness! Oh my god! How long does this green oh light go for? Like two seconds? Yeah. Like even if like we're still priority if we're on the road. Yeah, I I was like they were trying to kill us. Oh my god! I'm just getting another phone call. Just hang out for a second. Okay. Hello, Lieutenant Henry. 
Oh no, no, that's fine. Just um, yeah, just call me if it, you know, if you need me. But um, no, that's fine. Send him home if he's sick. Yep. No worries. Okay. Bye. Oh, sorry about that, Sarah. That's okay. Um, that just looks like a walkway. I think I don't really want to go in. What is it? It's like no skating, no oh, rollerblading. Store. It's a what? Some guy over there just standing behind some this... newspaper things. <laughs> what a weirdo. Well, I know the store is on the other side over there. Oh, it's just like a quicker way to get there, okay. I think so, yeah. Look at all the pretty colours on the signs and all that. Signs are intense. What's next? No breathing allowed? <laughs> yeah, no, you're not allowed to consume the air. Oh, that's Anna Rex. It's actually where my watch is from. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, maybe they're still open. This store. Hmm. Is there like a walk sink? I guess we just walk, it's clear. I'm just waiting to be mowed down by a car. Uh, you want to go to this shop, or did you want to go to Anna Rex? Um, I'll go to Anna Rex. Okay. I've never been to the one back there. I just, I always go for designers I know. There's, uh, that guy was standing up there at the red boxes earlier, and now he's coming down those stairs. See? Uh, uh, it might be nothing. I mean, he could be just a sieve hanging out in this location. I don't know, but that's. It's two times I've seen him somewhere, like just. I don't know, well, let's keep an eye out. Is it closed? Oh, they're closed. Oh, yeah. bugger. I was looking forward to going in there. Well, I know. Let's just go to Vangelico. Like, I, I think the stores there are still open. Oh, okay. Sure. I just got my paycheck, so I have money to spare, and I need jewelry. Oh goodness! And it's coming up to Christmas time. I really need. We need to get Mum something. Yeah, we do. What do you, What do you think she wants? You've yeah. had more to do with Mum lately than I have. I, you know, I haven't been to see her for a little bit. Well, what I can tell you is she. She didn't used to be like this that much, but she enjoys the finer things in life, if you know what I mean. Oh, okay. So she's a... for her gets expensive. So she's a little stuck up like you. And put them through law school. Oh. Wow. I'm kidding, Sarah. I love mum. <laughs> oh, looks like Vangelico's open. I've only been here once and it was to get my watch. Actually, Italia's working today. Apparently, this place got. Oh, Italia. Don't worry. She's this on. Got what? Oh uh, no! I'll I'll tell you oh, outside. Oh, I heard from the new. No. Yeah. Um, is she gonna help us? News. <laughs> she's on a phone. I've been here before. She's a little stuck. Oh. Okay. I mean. It's, oh, this is gorgeous. It's a pretty posh place. This. This necklace, this emerald necklace. I like this one with the blue bits. Like, well, like they're like the turqu the turquoise. Jeez, yeah, the I can't even talk. Jeez. Emeralds. <laughs> oh, this necklace here on the right is really nice too. I wouldn't mind that. Ooh, nine nine ninety nine. That's not bad. Oh, mm, 
I can afford a bit, you know. I like my money. I know what you mean. Oh, this bracelet. Is is that a, a silver bracelet? Mum would... That could be nice for Mum. We could all three of us get one and, like, engrave something on there for Mum. Oh, that's true. I don't see a price, though, on it. What do you think? It, oh, is it the one that says 8245? Uh, no, I'm like two to the right. Like, and then you got like the rings and then there's the... Oh. oh. I thought I heard the door open. I'll just, I'll ask. Yeah, I'll just ask. I'll ask. Yeah, I did hear the door open, that's funny. Excuse me, Talia, do you know how much the necklaces are over there? Love how Sarah just knows the person that works here. Podium in. thing? They don't really have a price on it, they're like, kind of like grey and they have like shiny things on them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she says they're five ninety nine each. Well, that's not too bad. So, yeah, we'll get three then, you know, we'll get one for mum and, you know, they can be like our, our family bracelets, like for us three. Yeah. You know when I said five ninety nine, I didn't mean five dollars and ninety nine cents, right? I I assume you mean like five hundred and ninety five dollars each. Yes. Yeah. Just making sure. Mm, that's fine. Okay. Callie, I will take these. I think you have to go around to her. She doesn't look like she moves much. She doesn't talk. Much. She doesn't talk much. Yeah, we're gonna cash these out. Yeah. Uh, are you paying for them for them on your card, or I can I can transfer you the money uh, on yeah. my card anyway. I'll pay for half of Mum's as well. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll just I'll use my American Express. There you go. Yeah, we'd like one of the, the bags, please. Thank you so much. Okay, that money should be on its way, sis. Yep, I see it. Okay, thank you. No worries. I think Mum will love that, personally. Yeah. Hey, a quick question. That guy that's behind us with don't look don't look, just keep walking. That guy that's up behind there, behind that table with the the bowl cap on him, have you seen him around? I feel like I saw him pass by. I think he isn't he the one that kinda tried to open the door in the store? I saw someone tried to get in. I didn't see anybody, I but I saw him behind a few boxes up there when we walked down through that like archway and then he was coming down the stairs when we were stopped at the light and now we're going to Vangelico's and he's just standing there. It could be nothing, but just I was just wondering if you've seen him before. Actually, come to think of it, I did see like a Crown Vic behind me when I was coming back from work for like a hot minute and the dude was definitely wearing like a cap. I couldn't see like exactly what it was, but he was wearing. He's wearing one. Okay, well, we'll go up to... Isn't there, like, a Kinda nice creepy. clothes store up here? Um, you know, it might be a nice new dress yeah. or something. We'll have a look. Yeah. We well, are yeah, definitely... Maybe it's just a coincidence or... Yeah, I mean, if... Or something? Uh, I yeah, know. maybe, but if yeah, I see... If, I mean, if I see him again, I'll just ask him, I guess. Yeah. I mean, like, I know we're beautiful, but, like, come on. <laughs> Yeah, well, like you said, it could be nothing. I just, you know, as a police officer, you're always looking, and that's that's one of the biggest things that gets annoying sometimes. You notice things that aren't even there. Yeah, I know what you mean. We are definitely being tailed. It was somewhat discreet at the beginning, man. He's gone a little close that time. I 
Let's see if he follows us around the next corner. Oh, this looks more like a man, a men's. I don't really see any female stuff. I think this is like a men's store. Yeah, I'm not really seeing any. Oh, well, that's a pity. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's just a wallet there. Yeah, that's just men's belts and stuff by the looks of it. Never been here before. Yeah. Hey, wasn't there someone back? Uh, I thought that guy was behind us. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Yeah, I don't think so. Could try Maracas right across the street. It looks like it has Sarah. Clothing. Sarah, listen to me carefully. Mhm. Mm when we go, we're gonna make a right-hand turn here. I'm gonna wait here. You're gonna keep walking, okay? You're scaring me. Well, don't be scared. Just just keep walking back to the car, okay? Okay. All right. Here's the keys. Hang on. Here's the keys. Can I keep walking? Thank you. Hey, LSPD! Hey, stop! Hey, stop! Oh, Shannon's got this fucking walk on too and she's fucking dead slow. Great. Oh, there's a cop! 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 There's a Where'd he go? Where did he go? Uh, four f Where the fuck did Ryan just go? That's Ryan. I don't know where this guy just went. I always wanted a place on Eclipse Boulevard. Local storage than anything else. I don't know where he went. And I don't have my flashlight on my gun, which is annoying. Where the fuck did they go? Oh here he is. Jesus! Ryan, are you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm alright. He didn't hit me. Okay. Are you, are you okay? I don't know what the hell happened. I don't know. Me and Sarah were shopping for Christmas for Mum, and I don't know. I just keep seeing this guy everywhere we go, so I tried to talk to him, and he just started running off. Hey, is that... is that Tamale? I did... Huh? It looks like uh, Tamale. Tamale? He's back in town? Maybe. Has he got a... Yeah, that's him. I'm gonna make sure. Jesus! Oh my god, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, oh it's it's okay. It's it's all right. You're okay. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Is he dead? Um, Ryan, is he dead? Sarah, you want to take I a look at him? Femoral pulse. You want to yeah. take a look at him, Sarah? I'm gonna search him. I'm gonna take his gun. Yeah, there's no pulse. He's, he doesn't have any pulse. Yeah, I'm not getting anything from the femoral artery either. He's dead. 
Okay. You sure you're okay? Where were you? I was literally right across right over there when I saw this. I saw the whole thing. I told you to go back to the car. What were you doing? I was going back to the car and then I come here and this guy's running. You said there was and a Crown Vic following I didn't us? I want to get in the way. Yeah. Is that the crack um, is that the crown big over there that was following you? It, yeah. There looks like it very much. Alright, let me uh how's you how you doing man? I don't know if that's tamales or not. It's definitely a Vic. What's the plate? VGGS. VGGS. Pretty sure this is 107's car, but we'll use it. Uh, not plate. Uh, name, I mean plate. VGGS. And as soon as she tried to start to talk to him, he took off running. Hey, that plate comes back to Gino as well. For that Crown Vic that's over the road. Sarah said that she saw one a few times following her on the way home. Oh, great. Well, if he was back in town, I don't know what... That, that can't be good. I don't know. I only just started poking back into Dad's death, so... Obviously, something triggered him to come back here. Sake. Hey, Dom. You got an idea off of him? Yes. Come over here. Uh, I believe I hit him a couple of times. You're going to have to take my service weapon. Yeah, the uh, okay, county yeah. medics took him. Have you got an evidence bag? Uh, yeah, there should be one. Okay, grab one of them and I'll put it in there. Seems like a lot of blood, doesn't it? Yeah, I think we... I don't I mean, know if I have anything in the back of my explorer to help cover it, but... I don't know about you, but I'm... Here you go. Make sure that's sent to the lab. That car. What was that? I s You're going back to your car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I just... That was just... Okay, I wasn't I mean, expecting I that, seeing, okay? I was just... Seeing him. Just shopping. I mean, did... I mean, did anything happen recently where... Like, that would make you think that he was back in town? The only thing... That, the only thing is I was with Kimmy yesterday and she went to Benetti's office and... Has she... Has she spoken to you? No. She, uh, no, I haven't. I haven't talked to well, Kim. Well, she went back to the office, back to Benetti's office, because she was trying to find the divorce papers, and there was a note on the table, and she she called me, and I went down and I looked at it, but I can't exactly remember what it said. But it said uh, something about it's quiet without Mr. B around. Maybe he'll sign your divorce papers. And there was also a message there for me. P.S. Tamali sends his regards or something like that. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, that. That can't be good. I know Kim's been kind of weird since Tony disappeared, so. Okay, I just, I wasn't expecting that.
All right. Well, I'm gonna grab my car because I've got to. I've got to bag my. I've got to bag my firearm and pick up my shell casings here. Okay. Whoa. Fun, fun. That was interesting. Very, very interesting. Oh yeah. You sure you're okay, sir? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, the Crown Vic. Uh, the Crown Vic? The black, the black one that's sitting there parked, was that coming back to the uh, guy that was shot, correct? Yeah, I ran the plate in that trooper's car and it comes, it comes back to Gino. And Sarah says she saw a, a car that was a Crown Vic matching that description following her every now and again too. search to that vehicle or do we even know it's unlocked? I haven't even tried, I just ran the plate. There could be photos in there or something if she's been watching Sarah. He could be. He could have been watching me for all I know. I haven't noticed him though. Alrighty. Um, Trooper, if you want to go take a look and see if there's anything. See if it's unlocked, if it is. See if there's anything in there out of the ordinary. Like pictures Ten or four. anything like that. Alright, we'll do. The only thing I noticed was when we got here and I saw a guy with a ball cap hanging out near those red things there but I didn't think much of it because you know people just hang out anywhere and then we walked down them stairs and I saw him coming down the stairs a good pace behind us and then just everywhere we went he was you know either coming our direction or going the other way it was just weird so I thought I'd just you know see what was going on and he just started running. I don't know why so he ran running now, running though. You guys. What was that? Uh, sorry, um, was to say that. So he started running after he noticed that y'all noticed he was kind of just following. Well, I made Sarah around. go around and I waited on the corner to see if he followed us and he came around the corner. So I said something to him. He looked up and I kind of got a glimpse of him, but not a good one. And then he just ran off. So he obviously didn't want me to recognize who he was, but he obviously got cornered in here by all of us. And then he decided the only way out was by shooting. By the way, I don't know how many rounds I fired. I didn't empty my magazine, though. I believe I had three or four rounds still left in my gun. I'll, uh... Well, the bag's already sealed up and everything. I, um... Should have checked it beforehand, but it's sealed up. So once I get back to the station, I'll submit it all. So that way forensics can take a look at it. And then they'll obviously... Leave it in the paperwork, how many rounds were fired. Yeah, I'm just gonna go and have a look at his car. Um, I just want to see if there's anything in there. Okay. Hey, are you okay? Trooper, was there anything in the car? Okay. Oh, there's a uh, glove compartment box. It's got a key lock to it. I can't seem to get into that glove compartment box. I'll probably have to get a tow for it and get it to investigations. Okay, see if on. they can get it open. I can't get it open. Have a look. Sorry, ma'am. Jesus. Get your headlight fixed. Was the car unlocked? Yes, ma'am. We'll just say the guns aren't there because I don't think they're a part of this role play. Man, your car's getting beat to crap. Yeah, I'm about to move it. Um, he's been watching me for a while. 
Ryan, there's Jesus, yeah. Ryan, there's Busy. boxes and boxes of photos in here of me and Sarah. There's even a couple of you. Some yeah. of these, some of these well, dates like back to over a year ago. Yeah, him being back in town can't be good. No, but I've just lost my only lead to finding out who who was the who ordered the hit. Well, was it uh, so that note that you were telling me about from yesterday? Was it? Do you think that it was Tamale that wrote it, or do you think it was somebody else? It said it was signed by T, Mr. T, or something like that. The only person I know with the name T was Trevor, but we I shot Trevor at the hospital when he tried to kill um, Mrs. Benetti. Oh. Yeah, Trevor was a dick. Yeah. Um, you don't think it meant T for Tamale? Mm, I don't know. It, it could have, but he would have just... No, he's he's more out there than that. He's a, He likes to... Yeah, he would have just put Tamale. It doesn't fit him. Gotcha. Well, do you need a ride back to your car? Hey, under that box there, there's some more pictures of a guy in a suit, like an older gentleman. I don't know who he is, I've never seen him before. Yeah, he doesn't look familiar. No. Oh, I don't know, maybe he does, I don't know, I can't think straight right now. Uh, my car's only over there. Where, where's Sarah? Oh, she's over there. Uh, she's, she's back across the street there. Can you guys just deal with this? I just want to go home and take Sarah home. Yeah, yeah, we're just waiting for a tow. Okay, thanks. I can, uh, I can stay, I can stay here with the car. You guys want to clear the scene? Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a, uh, make sure I make it back to the car safe. Did they take your statement, Sarah? Um, well, a cop asked me, like, what I saw and what happened. I, I think it wasn't a written statement. Oh, okay, we better get, we better get one of them over here. Okay. Hey, can one of you guys Thanks take for a, the help, guys. Can one of you guys take a statement from Sarah and I so we can get out of here, please? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll go. I'll go ahead and do that. If you guys, you guys could clear off, I'll just hang out by the car here. They could give me a statement. Okay. Okay, so... Start from the beginning, like, what were you doing down here? Um, when did you see him? What initiated the contact? That type of stuff. Alright, I'll just start from at home. Sarah and I had, we said we were going to go out shopping tonight because she, we're on different schedules and all that, as you know. We, she said something to me when she came over that there was a lot of Crown Vicks out tonight, but she thought it was a little unusual. I said, well, you know, they're getting phased out. Maybe it was just a lot of police out with a Crown Vic. I said, don't think too much of it. We came down here, I noticed a guy with a bowl cap, well, to, you know, the guy we shot, I noticed a guy standing near that Crown Vic, but near the red stall things up there, and, you know, I just didn't think too much of it, because I was like, people just stand around all the time. Then we went through that centre there, that middle bit there, that goes out onto the, the intersection near that police station, and down towards Van Chelico's. We stopped there at the light to wait for the crossing signal. I then saw the same guy coming down the stairs, but I didn't think much of it. We then went into Van Chelico's and I came out and he was watching the store and he was up behind a table. Anyway, you know, whatever, you know what I mean. So we kept going, I noticed he was behind us, we went into the clothes store and then as I came out I swore I saw him and then he was gone. So anyway, I just kept walking and then when I got up to the corner here, I told Sarah to turn right and I told her to take the car keys and go back to the car. So I turned around and he was coming up to the corner and I said LSPD stop to him. He then looked at me really quick and turned around and kept walking away. So I kept telling him to stop. And then he just started running off and then that's when I saw you. Okay. Alright, and so that, then, uh, you know, you 
you followed me as I was chasing him. Yeah, I lost you near the car though. I was trying to get my gun out of the holster. Yeah, yeah. Well, I had my taser out, and then I had to put, and then I had to pull my primary out. Um, how many rounds did you shoot at him? I I don't know. Uh, Dom has my Glock. I believe I fired about eight rounds. Okay. All right. Just uh, here, you know the deal. Just sign on the bottom here. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, no problem. It's just, oh man, it's just crazy. I wasn't expecting my shift to start like this. Well, I wasn't expecting my Christmas shopping to go that way either. Alright, thank you. I just want to make sure Sarah's okay. I just want to take her home. Okay. Jesus. I just got run over. And when you, you, you got, uh, Shannon's house, you guys were driving down to the coffee shop and noticed the Crown Victoria again, correct? Over off of Angelico? Uh, well, yeah, pretty much. Like, we see, like, We'll just wait for Sarah to give her a statement car. and then we'll go we home. We don't think much of it, but I guess. it's mainly when we saw him watching us, like, in the shops. Okay, so that's when you, uh... Okay, that's when you were told to get the we'll keys. We'll see how well and, uh, Sarah tells this story. Right. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna hand you this paper if you can sign the bomb, alright? Okay. That looks like they're pretty much done. He was just redoing the beginning bit with her, I think. Just cool. Alright, if you can just sign there. Alright. Okay. Alright, I'll go now. I'll get this sent down to the uh, station. We'll get on file, alright? Um, where, where are you guys parked tonight? Um, at the coffee shop, just right over there, the corner. Over at the coffee shop behind us? Yes. Okay. Um, if you, Shannon, would you like me to make sure you guys make your car safely? No, it's it's fine, thanks, Treba. Alright, well, I got the statement. I'm going to go and uh, get it down to the station and I'll uh, make it copy of it so I can put one on your desk so you have it and then I'll file it as well okay thanks thank you you're welcome well hopefully get yeah, girls have a wonderful night all right well I think my night was ruined but thanks let's just go home Sarah yeah You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you see him get shot? Yeah, pretty much. Well, I'm here if you want to talk about it later, okay? It, it's fine. I mean, as a doctor, I see a lot of death. I know, but you don't witness that sort of thing, okay? Yeah. What is Cross here? I guess we're just crossing. <laughs> Nobody has time to wait for those one second red lights. Yeah, yeah. Well, like I said, you know, don't be afraid to see a, psychi a psych psychiatrist or anything. It's it's normal. Uh, yeah, it's actually mandatory for us at the hospital. Yeah, I'll have to go and see. Okie dokie. My god. Jesus. How many times can someone try to kill you in one night? I don't think I ever want to come down here again. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick to online shopping. I mean, it seems safer at this point. Oh, yeah. I don't even really know how to check my email. <laughs> so I got a call from from one of my friend surgeons and. Uh, you transferred it to Pillbox, he's headed to the morgue. Oh, uh, he couldn't be revived at all? Nope. Completely brain dead. The multiple gunshots severed pretty much most of the arteries connecting to his heart. He pretty much died the moment he was shot. 
Well, I guess we're kind of back to square one, says on who killed Dad. Yeah. He did have some interesting pictures of a guy in a suit, though, an old, older guy. I kind of recognize him, but I don't know. I want to make sure when I get home. Oh, it's starting to get very, very uh, interesting. Yeah, the photos are a bit weird, though, because Tamale's in them with this guy. Can't talk and drive at the same time. That's interesting. Maybe it's a work associate? Don't know, maybe it's the guy that hired him, I don't know. That's not going to stop me from looking into this, though. I'm heading home and I think we're just going to have a couple of glasses of wine and head to bed, I think. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. Alright guys, that is going to do it for this episode. That was a lot of fun. Um, I, We kind of planned some, some of that. Some of it, you know, wasn't planned. It was great. I really, really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But um, yeah, there's a lot more to this story hopefully to come. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for hanging out.